Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Haas. Today we're going to read another one of my favorite stories called The Caterpillar and the Pollywog. This story is written and illustrated by Jack Kent. That means that Jack Kent not only wrote the words, but he also drew the pictures. So what we're going to do is we're going to read through, and the story is um, mostly about a caterpillar who is going to be going through um, the circle of life, and she's going to be turning into a beautiful butterfly. She's so excited. She's telling everybody. But she comes across a friend called a polywog, and the polywog is so happy for her, but he also wants to turn into something else himself. So we're going to read along and see if he ends up turning into anything. The Caterpillar and the Pollywog. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not just a thing that anybody can do. They're beautiful. Down by the pond there lived Caterpillar, who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to all her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into? The pollywog asked, but the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. I wonder what the polywog is going to turn into. If you look at the shape of him, I wonder what he is going to turn into. Hmm. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled around the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised that she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. Kind of like you, right? You go to school too. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the polywog said happily. What fun! Let's do it together. I wonder if, if the polywog really is going to turn into a butterfly. He doesn't look like a caterpillar. Hmm. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was really done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said, and when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. You can't see her anymore. She's not there. She's inside. For a long time, nothing happened, but the pollywog was patient. He watched and he watched and he watched. There she is. Do you notice anything different? Whoa, wait a minute. I'm noticing something different. Do you see something different? Yeah, look, he has legs. What do you think he might be? Do you know yet? 
for days and days and days. Wow, he was really patient. He sat and watched all that time. And now I'm noticing something else here in this picture. He's starting to grow arms. Wow. And look, his tail's getting smaller. Does he look like something to you? At last there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a beautiful butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. Wow, did you notice what happened? He turned into a frog. The pollywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said, that I didn't notice what was happening to me. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. That's super silly. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Until next time, bye-bye.